there hello how are you all children i just hope that you all are keeping yourself safe and enjoying at your place uh, children you should have to keep yourself updated with the work given to you by the teachers so in our previous video we have uh, discussed about the next chapter chapter number two now today in this video i'll be continuing with that chapter and we'll cover the rest of the topics so take out your books Okay, children, so this is your book, ICSE Understanding Computer Studies. So, children, in our previous video, we have started our new chapter, chapter number two, Types of Software. So, before continuing the rest of the part of this chapter, let us take a quick recap of what we have studied till now. We have discussed about the types of software. There are two types of software, system software and application software. We have studied about the system software and in this video, we will continue with the application software. So children, we have studied that system softwares uh, are the special softwares which are designed to control the various activities of a computer. It manages smooth working of hardware as well as software components. Next, we have studied that... Uh, System software are of various types like operating system is one of the best example of system software. Next, we have studied about the compiler that it translates the high level languages into machine code means machine language which a computer can easily understand. Next, we have studied about the interpreter. Interpreter also works like compiler but there is a difference between both of them. Interpreter executes or converts the whole program line by line into machine code but a compiler converts or executes the whole program in one go also discussed about the utility software it is also a kind of a system software and helps us to analyze and maintain a computer it manages the functions of all the components of a computer system and helps in smooth working of the computer system we also discussed some of the utility softwares like backup scanning and disk defragmentation okay children so today we will discuss about one other type of system software that is operation support system okay let's discuss what is an operational support system it is a type of system software used by telecommunication providers to control telephone networks. Now children, who are these telecommunication providers? These are the companies which provides you the telephone networks like IDEA, ATEL, GEO and many more etc. Now children, uh, it is a software that enables a service provider to manage, control, or analyze the services on its network. That is why the telecommunication companies use this software so that they can keep an eye on their network services. The software also provides them the facility to take care of their network requirements. Children, uh, let's read about the uh, management uh, functions which is supported by this operation support system. The first function is service assurance. Next is service delivery, service fulfillment, network management and customer care. These are the few functions which are supported by the operation support system. Okay children, so let us continue with our next topic, application software. Application software is a set of programs that provides a platform for the user to carry out his tasks. Now children, application softwares are the programs that helps you to do some specific jobs. Uh, like they provide you a platform or a background to perform some specific tasks. Like uh, if you want to work, if you want to write something on a computer, so you would require some word processor programs. Like word processors like MS Word isn't it wordpad notepad so these are the word processors uh, and these are the application softwares they uh, are specially designed to write the documents or to create the documents next if you want to uh, draw or paint something so you would require uh, 
particular programs like uh, MS Paint or Tux Paint. So MS Paint and Tux Paint are the application softwares. Now children, application software can be categorized into two types. Special purpose application software and general purpose application software. Now let's read what are special purpose application softwares. This type of application software are designed specially to carry out only one type of task. The children, it is a type of a software which is created to execute one specific task. Uh, for example, a camera application on your phone, it will only allow you to take and share pictures and videos. Other examples of uh, special purpose application softwares are uh, web browsers. They allow you to access to internet. Okay, calculators. Uh, this software will allow you to do uh, to perform calculations. Okay, so these kind of uh, application softwares are used to perform only one type of task. Come to the next category of the application software, general purpose application software. An application software developed to serve different purposes of the user is said to be the general purpose application software. Now children, gen these kind of softwares are specially designed to carry out a variety of tasks. Uh, it fulfills the requirement of a person or an organization. Now let us understand more about it by taking its examples. Children, the first example of general purpose application software is word processor. This is an application software which is used to print letters, notice or any application. It also allows easy modification and editing in the typed document. Now modification means the changes. Okay. The children, one of the most used word processor nowadays is Microsoft Word 2016. The children, this uh, allows you to add professional look to your graphics. And you must have seen that this package is widely used in offices, uh, industries, schools, etc. Wherever the documents have to be typed. Now the next example is a spreadsheet. Children, it is an application package which is used to work with the tabular data. Means you have to work, you uh, enter the data in rows and columns. Look at this picture. Here you can see how the data is entered in tabular form. Now children, uh, this spreadsheet also allows you to do various calculations and the data which is typed over there can be represented in the form of tables, charts and graphs like this as you can see in the picture. Now here comes the next example media player. This is an application software which allows user to play audio or video files. Uh, you can play the files either created by you or you have downloaded it from the internet. Now the next type of application software is Internet Explorer 8. Children, it is a software which helps you to access or view the different web pages of the websites. It is one of the most popular browser present in your computer. Uh, this software helps you to link with the internet. If you use this browser, you can browse any site on the internet. Okay, children, so this is now for today. Let's take a quick recap of what we have learned today. So till now we have discussed about the various system softwares like operating system, language processors in which compiler and interpreter softwares come. Next we have studied about the utility software, backup, scanning and this defragmentations are the examples of utility software next we have studied about operation support system so these all are the examples of system software next we have discussed about the application software there are two types of application software special purpose application software and general purpose application software children this is now for today and we all have come to the end of this chapter so Go through the chapter and read it again and again. Children, in our next video, we'll be continuing with the next chapter. Till then, keep yourself safe, stay home and take care.
bye